musicians around the globe, not to mention the inspiration and marketing savvy to go henceforth, forthwith, and destroy those with a lovely cup of tea. And that's tea. I'm a lip. A dead. For those dead guys. Bravo, chaps. Hey, you up, sausage? <laughs> you got to unmute yourself. Mute. <laughs> hey, yep, lads. Yeah, how are you doing? There we go. Welcome to those <laughs> dent guys or those mute guys. Um, for I, usual. That. I don't know. How are we all doing? I'm Ben Ridley from Trident PDR. Uh, Martin Sadler from Dent Removal Limited. In there we go. Three seasons in, and we are seamless on the intro. <laughs> like never how are we all nearly. doing nearly we'll get there one day mate season four i reckon season four will be <laughs> one. <laughs> you reckon yeah no chance no chance although although for the first time ever turns out we've got a script for the episode have we yeah 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 so <laughs> this morning martin sent me across the first <laughs> official ever those dent guys script which i've Got here. Right? It's all in. It's all in. It's, <laughs> what's, let's have a look. That's well, as good as my wedding one. That <laughs> after, after my initial anxiety attack about the amount of notes on it, I quickly realised. Oh, I don't think people tune in for a script body. They want to see a train wreck like the rest of us. <laughs> all right, fan. I don't no, mind. <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm quite happy for the fact that you've written a script out because we're all flying by the seat of our pants again and some kind of structure. Happy days. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, socks. No problem at all. It's all worth it. Yeah, too right. Shall we uh, do the usual? Jump into the comment section and see who's with us tonight. We've got 14, 15 people on with us so far. Okay. Let's jump in. Joshua Dragos. Hello, Yo, how are you doing? Think... Joshua's over in Florida, is that right? Uh, I don't know. Joshua, where are you from, mate? Chuck up in the comments, buddy. Pretty sure. Uh, uh, James Bernard, yo yo, Dent FX, Aaron, Captain Aaron. <laughs> Captain Aaron Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Carl, hey, how, how are we doing? Oh, Graham. hang on a bit before we skip on too far. Somebody's got a birthday coming up. Mr. Kite. 40th birthday coming up, look. Ooh, Keep an eye out for it on ooh, Facebook. Dear. 40th birthday. That's right. going to start going grey soon. You'll need glasses as well. That's it. That's the one. G, G Man's on. All right, Graham. Nice Ali. To see you. Good evening, Ali. Steve Ward. Evening, Steve. Graham. Good evening. Yeah, Cocoa, Cocoa Beach. Beach Florida. Florida. Oh, my God. I want to go to Cocoa Beach. Don't come on here bragging about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we ought to get over there sometime, mate. Yeah. Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Evening. All right, Dan. That's us too. I wish I had the hair for it, mate. I wish I had the hair for it. Yeah. Oh, uh, dear. What's, what's that? What's Leon? Uh, Leon's 30, you cheeky beggars. No, I don't think you were. Yeah, yeah. 30 plus body line plus aluminium plus vat. <laughs> 30 waist, maybe. Not 30 years old. <laughs> Jesus. I don't think Leon tuned in for that kind of uh, dressing down, mate. It's a bit hard. <coughs> Make him no, say sorry. Sorry. Okay, sorry. 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 <laughs> sorry. 28 knowing him. I know, right? <laughs> oh, mate. What's been going on this week? It's been a busy one, hasn't it? You've been busy. What have you been um, up to? Well, just dense in it. Dense, dense, oh. dense. Planning, planning, planning. Trying to tidy the workshop somewhat and finish a few bits off. Mm, and avoiding the weather as much as possible. Seeing yeah, it's uh, a bit horrendous out there, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody is the same, getting all the wheelie bin uh, inquiries through. Uh, one actually at my van the other morning, which was hilarious. But I'm Can concerned. you get the dents out? Can you get it out? Uh, it hit the bumper, so I'm all right. Uh, <laughs> hey, up, Fernando, how are you doing? Evening, boy. You missed the last one. He said he was sorry. Did he? Oh, yeah. well, it's on demand on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> you can go get it on YouTube, I'm sure, buddy. Um, yeah, well, we're live live on YouTube, so we've got Dan. Dan's watching it on YouTube now. Uh, yes, sir. I think the rest of them are all 
on the Facebook. Brian hey, Milner. Evening, Mr. Milner. And hey, that just reminded me, Mr. Milner's got his leather and windscreen ship repair day at his gaff on Saturday the 19th of March, I believe it is. Um, if anybody's interested in going and learning about screen chip repairs or leather repairs, give leather Mr. Repairs. Moore a shout. And valeting as well. Is he doing valeting and detailing? Mm, I'm not sure See whether they're getting that. into that or not, but obviously he does do it up there, so well, I'm sure. Pop, pop anything you want in the comments, Brian. We'll stick it up for you. Yeah, yeah, do that. Put put a listing of everything in the comments, buddy, and everyone can tag onto it and ask you any questions. Um, another one of those nice little sub conversations that crack off. Bill, hey. good morning. How are you doing? Western Australia. Do you know? Dedication in it. Well, they're all in these hot countries, aren't they? I think we need to move to an hot country. Does anybody want two decent, half decent texts? <laughs> <laughs> Average at best. <laughs> Yeah, average. No, no, good rate. No, um, no, we're expensive. But if if you want to take us on, you can do. Well, I've just got it. To... <laughs> I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. <laughs> move on. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to today's show. I guess. No, no all that. Evening, James. Thanks. Um, yeah, today's show we have got a couple of awesome guests with us with their company and having a shout about what they're up to and as you will have seen from the posts today's episode is all about expanding business um with other services that you can include um other than dents um so i suppose without further ado we should invite the lads from d3 services group to the fold everybody jump up in the comments and say hello to the lads how are we boys hello you are boys <laughs> Evening, Chappies. How are you doing? Good, thank you very much. Very well, very well. For those who don't know me, I'm Dan from D3. That's, that's Sonny. Nice to meet you all. Perfect. Sorry. We don't have to do anything, should we just go? <laughs> Says it underneath. <laughs> Says it underneath. You're all right. Hey, leave if you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the. <laughs> <laughs> you went there. <laughs> Every it's your last chance now. It's your last chance. <laughs> <Strong one. laughs> I told you this was going to be a good show, didn't I? Brace, brace yourselves, everyone, because we might not get much information out of this show, but it will be. <laughs> and this is why we need a script, because otherwise it's just... Well, I'm just going to sit back and drink tea now, because you've worked your script out, so... Oh, no, work. come on, come on, come on. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn! How are you no. two been up to? Are you been busy? Have you? Are you all? You'd be always busy, you two, won't you? Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, yeah. We are. Um, very busy. Yeah. Um, I'll let Sunny tell you about the expansion on the uh, powder coat system that we're now setting up for our second building next door. Yeah, that's basically our main focus at the minute. That's where we've been spending a lot of our time. Uh, we've just managed to get the unit next door to where we currently are. Um, We've had a lot of customers come in with wheels. Uh, we've had a lot of D fleet centers contact us about wheels. So we already do diamond cut wheels and wheel refurbishment, but we thought we might as well take it to the next step. So we've invested into some um, powder coating systems. Um, that's going to be going in uh, next door. So we're looking looking forward to that. Um, they haven't turned up yet. We're going to turn up this week. So we've got everything prepared. We've been rushing around in there. Danny, poor Danny's been putting up all the stud balls. I've been. Well, I've got a lot of the trainee standing there. Like, he goes, uh, <laughs> past right. cutting up the bits of wood. He's been making the brews. He's been, been making right. the brews. Yeah, I like the I like the colour of that cup as well. A bit of green there, is it? Yeah, yeah, we we'll, we'll like a bit of green. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's when it comes in place before. Oh, we yeah, hear that those dead right. guys have no idea what's um, being discussed right now. So we're not affiliated with <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> Green on the logo. Well, about it. I think I'll pop, <laughs> I'll colours. of your script. So um I'll um I'll I'll pop back in and give a, a bit of background on myself actually. Uh oh you're going from a script, nice one. Just just before yeah, you go I'll any go further there, buddy. I apologize. Just before you go any further, Martin, I don't know if you realized he said script with inverted commas. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, um like I said to Martin, uh, I've been in the trade for about 22 years now, and uh, I started back in... So anyway, that is the end of us, then, guys. 
<laughs> well, what? Well, yeah, well, I don't bore everyone to death, but yeah, I started back in uh, 2000, um, got into the trade. I, I was sort of pushed in that direction. I was never fantastically great at school, but I was always great with my hands, a bit like yourself. And um, then my dad sort of uh, pushed me along to come and do some work for him. He was in the same sort of trade. He was welder by trade. Uh, and then he started up the PDR. Um, and then he, tra he trained me and my brother up and it was just like uh, the first, like it is for every new, tra you know, every new dent guy who starts, um, but especially being young as well. I, I, only lo I looked, I was what, uh, 17? And I looked like 12. So I was, I was, uh, same problem. Yeah, I was, I was making the couple of keys like you wouldn't believe over there. But yeah, so um, yeah, my dad, my dad got me into it. He ran a successful business for about uh, eleven years, and then he made enough money to retire and disappear. Um, and then um, yeah, and then we sort of uh, watched the trials and tribulations of what's going on with my dad, and then we we sort of uh, sort of learned from that, and then uh, created our own company. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we, we almost saw a few mistakes as such in the way like the business was run. So we, we managed to learn a lot in, in how we're currently running our business. And that is almost why we decided to in, introduce Smart Repair and, and Will yeah. Repair, because we didn't just want to almost fall on the, the one service, because one, mm. we all know it's quite a niche market. Um, and there's not a lot of people out there that actually know what it is when you explain like, you know, PDR. Still don't know, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we thought, let's try and make it a one-stop shop. So if someone brings their vehicle in with a dent, we can also offer them to do their wheels. Nine times out of 10, their wheels are curved and they've got a scratch down the side of their car. Nice. So mm. it, it kind of went hand in Three things there, aren't you? Yeah. It's yeah. a natural progression. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was uh, it would just come hand yeah you're right come hand in hand with it um the people would ask us if we would do do we do any anything else have we got any other services you know mm -hmm. okay do we yeah, uh, take out scratches and things like that and it just it just a natural progression because the customer was asking and we, we just sought to supply it yeah because like, when you get a dent in a vehicle I know we usually to try and paint this dent removal is a dent with no paint damage but. You know, if, if your car is going to have an impact, that potentially is going to be some sort of paint stuff, chip scratch. stuff and things like that. So yeah. we had a few instances where they were like, we've taken a dent out and they were happy with it. They were like, could you do something with the paint? And we weren't able to offer that service. So, so you've got to send it off to someone. Yeah, mm. repeat feedback. We were like, right, well, okay, well, this could be a market to go down. Yeah, I mean, I must admit, even at the workshop here, we, we sat down a couple of weeks and just sort of said, how much money's worth of bumper corners and minor stuff are we sending out the door? And it was just offensive, really. You know, it, it's just an obvious sort of, if we kept all those in-house, we'd be laughing, yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. But did, how, how easy did you, did you find it to go from that decision of, right, we need to do this to actually implementing it? Sorry, say that one in, more time, mate. In, in the space of a year, Ben. Yeah, it was literally in the space of a year, wasn't it? Because yeah. we, um, because obviously I've been, we've been in the trade for a, a long time, but actually our company has only been running for the last three years. Um, D three has only been running for the last three years, so we all had our own individual companies, and um, then we thought actually working individually in the same area doesn't really work. You know, like we could. All band together and um, uh, yeah. and put our contacts together and uh, and be much greater and you know with all them different sort of uh, different mindsets and that lot and takes us into different directions. It was quite exciting. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I remember, I got a call. So a little bit of background about me is I come into industry. I was fairly young. I think I was about sixteen. Um, I dabbled in the PDI industry for a little while. Um, being that young, no, he, he done it. He come out on a hail uh gig with me, he got scared. <laughs> He's a runner, yeah. I love it. Yeah, it, <laughs> <laughs> it. I had to do a runner, so I legged it. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> well, was it was it quite bad? Was it was it harsh? Harsh, uh, it, it was heavy tail. Um, but being 16 years old to be that involved in you know because you, you need to be 
How old are you now, Bob? 17, 18? <laughs> oh, 28. I'm 28 now. Oh, you're so vain. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, yeah. I, I know what I'm going for now. Well, we all do. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so I started off 16, roughly, just a quick overview. Um, then I went away. Um, I went into finance for a little bit, moved to London, um, worked up there for a little while. Um, and then I got a phone call from Danny saying, we're looking to put this sort of uh, business together. Works in um, finance, get him back. Yeah, yeah, I was actually looking at promotion at the time. I, I was toying with the, with, the, with the thought of moving back to Bedford anyway. So yeah. my heart was sort of telling me to come back home with my, you know, my family and all that. Um, I weren't really too sure what to do, but yeah, long short of it, come back. We, we put our heads together and started up D3 services, and that, now we're here. And that's definitely, so what, it was the right decision to do. So, what's it like working with the family then? Is it you're really close? Oh, you know? close right? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I, I love it too. So, yeah, I think that's one of the, the key things of, of business is like, if, especially if it's a joint venture, you need like that, that support. support. Yes, yeah. support, trust. Um, yeah. you know, he's, he's my punching bag when I need it. He, he, He's, he's just so mentally he doesn't strong. hit hard. Danny, so, why is your left eye twitching, mate? It's, it's crazy. <laughs> but, I, yeah. I have no control. It's like Martin's eyebrows. We have to say. <laughs> <laughs> if you've just tuned in, this is an episode of Thunderbirds. I think um, one of the business with my brother has actually brought us closer. closer. A lot closer. Because um, you go through a lot of emotions, especially with like COVID um, going, you know, happening. The whole world's gone through a global pandemic. There's a lot of stress on the business and us as a family yeah. because you know if something happens to the business, then it happens. It, it affects both of our families, yeah. which yeah. is obviously mm -hmm. one big family. So yeah, yeah, we felt a lot of pressure there. Per, well, like, I think I think we hopefully or, or have almost perfected the balance um and for now yeah for, yeah for now yeah yeah i mean we, we, what we said we just do um like small progression anyhow like it's, it's like the yeah. best type of growth so um we, we never we've learned from our early days not to take on a project that is ever so costly that is is, is going to put too much pressure on you yeah, so oh, yeah definitely breathing you know that breathing space or that you know just our heads above the water so um we we always uh, and we've learned in the past as well to always focus on one service at a time, grow it to a certain extent, and then move on to the next, and then yeah. the strongest uh, service to just expand on that. Um, yeah. And then that, that's pre just pretty much what we've been doing, really. It's um, really good advice, to be fair, because it can become like very overwhelming very quickly, can't it? You know, you've got all these yeah. <clears throat> just spinning plates, and you're like, ah, what do I do? This one, this one, this one. Uh, you start getting the world with the problems. Um, you know, you've got so many different services, so many different processes, yeah. so many different like training techniques and um, like different technicians doing different it all, and it can become very, very overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, so, uh, have you have you guys had much of that where you've kind of come up with? You know, we all have those days at the office where we sit down and just go, "What the hell is going on?" Obviously, <clears throat> you guys spinning so many plates. Do you ever, do you ever hit that brick wall, and how do you cope with that? Yeah, oh, we wow. we definitely, yeah, we definitely many a times come come across that. But I think we've learned. Danny's taught me quite a bit to. Oh, you almost need to let go of your emotions when it when it comes to it, and you need to think quite factual. And look processes and then try and work yourself back we can see where it's going wrong um, but with me and Danny we've got such a good line of communication we're, we're really good at just sitting down and then talking to each other about the pros the cons what's gone wrong how it's gone wrong we're not really looking at who who's caused the problem it's always how the how do we fix it from that point how, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of, yeah. yeah. You just need to move forward don't you yeah. and our, yeah. our line of communication runs through true to you know the newest recruit so we inform everyone. It's, it's, it's that military mentality, isn't it? You, you know, you, you have your two IC, you have your second in command. And if, you, if your main man goes down with COVID or is banged his finger on a hammer, then you've got <laughs> any, any other man can just pop up and take over and, and take yeah. his place. So, 100%, uh, yeah. yeah, definitely, yeah. 
And it's, it's the same sort of uh, mantra that we always have. You know, I, I wouldn't send or do anything that I, I wouldn't do myself. So that yeah. the rest of the lads respect that, and then they, uh, I'm, I'm in and in and amongst it with the rest of them as well. We, you know, they yeah. don't wear shirts and ties. It's not me. <laughs> no, it's, it's good way, way don't they? <clears throat> Yeah, you know, it's a good way to lead, though, isn't it? You know, you're not you're not bossing. You're in the on the shop floor, front line with everybody. And yeah, yeah I think it's like to also do with Plus, no one. No one can bluff you as well. Then that's <laughs> what. No one can bluff you as well. That's true. Exactly. If, you know, when you jump into an area and you feel like um, um, I, I don't know this area quite, and and they're gonna they, this is the reason why this has happened. I've got hold on a minute. I've done. Yeah. This. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah, exactly yeah. what I was about to say. Yeah, like if you've been on the on the shop floor, I mean, uh, how, how can you bluff that? that? How can you bluff uh, that? <laughs> I took that picture. I haven't got a belly there. He's like, I've been doing this game <laughs> thirty years, man and boy, all these dents. <laughs> <laughs> you need to look after those knees, though, don't you? Hey, oh, yeah. Yeah. in a couple well, of years' time, um, I've never you're... used so much glue uh, than I have done in the last. Yeah, I don't know actually. Three since, years since this. Yeah, yeah. Since this company. Since this company, yeah. <laughs> we have to do games like that all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's um, it's been fun. It's been great. It's it's a good experience. Um, uh, you know, what good thing about it is that we we're, we're always positive, even on a negative day. Um, uh, and it's it's the only sort of way to be. You know, the you got to feel passionate about your job, don't you? You got in. I know guys who've been in a job now and they're like 10 years in and they're like, oh, I don't know, you know. And, and you can just see it in their work. They're just not happy and their, their yeah. work's all pricked up. And, um, it's a bit of a downward, yeah. But yeah, and then th so this is where I try to sort of come in and always you know, show that love and that inspiration, that passion, and yeah. that gives them that drive. Um, yeah. And also a lot of money. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, well, yeah, Brian agrees with you. Bang on what we're saying. Always best to have a person or persons delegated to one service as it can get too much. Yeah. 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 Definitely. So when when you was doing the, the dents, what was the first thing that you decided to take on on the other services then? Was smart it the yeah. smart repairs? So you was doing the dents and then you decided to start painting them so if you get any push to painting you can actually take them on and paint them as well yeah, that's it yeah to, to yeah. be to be honest with you actually going back to what danny was saying about taking on too much we at the beginning we decided to go full out. bang and yeah. we did the diamond cuts the wheels and the smart repair with the and wrapping all in one we did dabble around the wrapping environment but we learned really good that, that you can't mix um, the two together because of the cross contamination. It's just yeah. it's just too much. Yeah, it's hard yeah. enough to be prepping and painting in very similar areas. Yeah, yeah. right. Wraps are expensive, aren't they? The wraps really yeah, expensive. Yeah. Probably yeah, Ben yeah. knows about that. I mean, we're doing a lot of PPF at the workshop now, uh, just trying to keep the area as sealed as possible. Uh, yeah. From it, even just the smallest fibers is savage, <laughs> you know. Um, and, and yeah, it's not cheap, so yeah. you've got to really be on the ball with that stuff. Yeah, well, that's why we're developing. That's what we're developing. So next door, not only have we got the uh, powder coating system going in there, we've actually managed to get a. We're building a booth in there as well. Um, yeah. So we're going to have like a. This unit is going to be the pre like prepping center, basically, where everything's getting prepped. Um, and then next door will be replacing the paint, the paint side, and the the side yeah. and it's all segregated and partitioned off, so there'll be no information. <laughs> and it won't help with speed, but it's also going to help with the quality of work as well. So yeah. that's what we're yeah. looking at. See, our work is good quality, but um, powder coating is a much more durable, you know, uh, paint that you can apply to wheels last yeah. longer. That's mm -hmm. why we want to be able to offer that service and up our guarantees. Um, yeah. And having a booth is just going to help our, our employees do a better job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. What well, What would you say you do the most of then? Do you do mostly? P well, obviously, I know you've got your lads as well, but do you do a lot of PDR or what? What do you do in house the most? Well, we we've got, uh, well in house in house at the base here is mainly smart repair and a lot of wheels. Um, yeah. But our, our, our yeah our sort of bulk and where the majority of it our work is is, is in pdr yeah, yeah. um so yeah and, and we're, clean in it 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe well, it depends where you're working, doesn't it? Like, obviously, we're we're working all over the place. So we're based in Bedford, but uh, we, we work, uh, we operate all over the country. Um, yeah. So uh, and we've got a nice, we've got a fantastic team with us. They're very supportive, uh, and we're very understanding of them. So they they, uh, I mean, they treat it like their own company. So when they when they're at on site, they're they're, they're just running it like it's their own deal. Yeah, I think that's an important thing, obviously, and probably a testament to you guys, really, more than anything, that people give that respect. You know, so it's all too easy to just go, uh, it's a job, I'll turn up, clock in, push, go home, but to actually treat it like it's yours, you know, that, that's respect, isn't it, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I think you said yes, we, we, we almost try to keep it like, a, as we're family anyway, but we like to keep a very family-oriented like style. Yeah. so it's not too much hierarchy it's um there's a lot of friendships and yeah there is not, yeah, yeah yeah like yeah. i make it my you know purpose first thing in the morning is to ask you know good morning how are you how's everyone uh and then i'll just go individually and ask them you know uh, um how, how their evening's been so so like just so i can get a uh, you know a start initial or if there's anything that there's worrying them or that they feel that they can come to me so then i'm not adding any stresses or pressure towards the, the rest of the day i'm more understanding mm. the reason why is because of so and so and so and so but yeah um, like it is when i must admit it is like being um you know that great uncle or um <laughs> or that lovely mommy and daddy have you uh <coughs> got any jobs going because all this we can we can get rid of this pretty quick <laughs> Well, well, we can always do a murder. You guys, you guys sound like the best because this guy's a real um, idiot to work for. <laughs> <laughs> I think we already look like brothers. You should just join in. Well, there you go. I'm just going to grow a bit of hair, a bit more stubble. I'll be laughing. <laughs> Get rid oh, of my well. belly. That's it. That's it. My military brother over there. I like what you put up first, the, uh, the poacher. I was always oh, good that. Yeah, I did that just for you. I mean, you're going to sing a song. Hang on a second. Right. We'll just have a little break. Hang on. Because you've done it now. He's gone for it. You've, oh. I'm going to do this. Right. We need, because at, at the beginning we had this little song, but are you ready? Let's see oh, if wow. I can get it on. Oh, okay. Are you going to sing it? Come on. I can only sing the first few versions. <laughs> When I was bound to I fell in this new t-shirt. I thought I'd come on to see you. 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 Hey! There you go. Unbelievable, unbelievable. <laughs> I saw it here first. So, people, Danny, I'm not going on that. Like that. <laughs> so, Danny, best tip for success? <laughs> oh, uh, I suppose we would touch well, I'm going to get a laugh out of that. Oh, God, my, my comment <laughs> is gone. <laughs> Oh, sorry. There you go. There it is. Oh, have, have we got pre-scripted gags and everything now? <laughs> I, missed, I missed the board meeting last night. Crap. I was always joking on that. Hey, you've got a really good singing voice, haven't you? You need to put singing voice. We sleep with our Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And there we go off the edge of a cliff on the half <laughs> now, Mark. Definitely passion. That gives you drive. And um, just don't be afraid to fail. Or, or fail and, and um, you know, and, and learn from it and then move on from it. Yeah, wise words. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think, I think drive. I think drive's a big one because as soon as you lose the drive, but that's why you got passion there for yeah. you know it, it, that passion that drives you, like the love. It, you know you're good at your job. You, you know you can get clean dents out, and you like if you're like me, I I love especially on private customers. I just love the reaction. I love the fact that they're like wow, yeah. um, and it's and it's even better when you can do it to a body shop manager. Like they 
it, <laughs> they've been in there for 15, 16 years, 20 years on the job, and this you can still wow them. They're like, wow, I didn't know that was possible. Yeah. Um, and especially with you, Martin, does it like uh, the, the stuff that you knock out? I mean, body shops with look and deeply. I'm just, Ben, I'm Ben, don't forget Ben with his roof and his yeah. bonnet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see that green bonnet, mate. <laughs> that was mad. Yeah. That yeah, was so well, good. Well, well. well. <laughs> <laughs> did it in half an hour. <laughs> I bloody well didn't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, is, it is really good to, you know, to wow people. I mean, that's, you know, I love it. You know, you go and take a dent out, and it's satisfaction at the end of the day, and, and you give oh, the person the keys and the bill, but not bothered about the bill because you've done such a good job. But um, you know, take really our money. Take our money. I yeah. think that was um that, when I first started. That was the uh, hardest thing. I always felt like I wanted to do the customer a favour, and you, then you'd start doing yourself out of money. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. But then, then obviously, yeah, education it's... is the key, and knowing what they charge in body shops, and actually, you know, you, you, you're keeping your eleven year paint warranty and things like that, and then explaining this stuff and educating your customer it, you know that they will pay um yeah and it's a much faster service than just leaving your car in the body shop for for a week then yeah. then coming to us in a day and and, and getting it knocked yeah. out and straight, and straight out yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. we've got it oh go on <clears throat> no, i was just gonna say here's oh, a quick sorry. question for you with regards right. to all that with the pricing and stuff obviously with the dent stuff we all know Everyone tries to haggle us down to the lowest common denominator, and oh, but I know a guy that will do it for such and such. Do you find that happens with the other services you do, or is that fairly, you know, just an accepted thing? The costings of it. No, we don't have a problem in that area. We no, no one haggles. The only haggle is we price, and that's it. Yeah, the only haggle is we tend to get are the smaller dealerships. They're they're, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're a nightmare. Um, but as we but we love them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Welcome um, to the show, special guests. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think that's the only time we try to get the haggles. But apart from that, I wouldn't say. Yeah. Mm. Um, I, th I think because they know, I mean, they know the game. They've got plenty of people in their area and they've got your your local um, smart repair bands that will come in and do it at a, a cheaper price. But um, we just can't, know they can't keep up. that higher service and they will pay a driver to to come and bring it to you you know yeah. they they will go that extra and think yeah. instead of having like uh color problems or dirt in the paint and stuff like that you know they they will go that extra yeah you know you do a proper job and you charge decent amounts and and you get it done and there's no issues then people are just going to keep coming back aren't they exactly. yeah yeah exactly yeah. Mm. yeah yeah i mean it's a to be honest like i know we've been in trade for a while but it's only been up and running for three years, and with it, and we're already expanding in, in in that area. So, I think the fact that we are, are that busy and it and we are able to expand that quick just shows how many customers do come back once you just yeah. give that good, you know, that great job. That level yeah. of customer service, service well. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it plays a big part. So take, every job is very personal when we try to create a bond with the customer and things. So, um, you know, yeah. you almost make a friend after every every customer. And you know, the amount of Facebook requests I've got after customers coming in and out of here, it's, it's mm. crazy. It's nice. Yeah, it's of course nice. it is, yeah. You know, you're yeah, going to yeah. get that repeat work. Just Once make, you yeah. see it start working and snowballing, like you say, the word of the mouth, you know, because we yeah. all put a lot of time into the marketing, the promotion, the social medias, this, that, and the other. And once that sort of finally locks in you get the customers then they start spreading the word like a little street team for you and stuff and like yeah. you say you know you create that emotional attachment with them and whatever every job's personal um and obviously you guys have got that nailed so fair play to you who who sorts your uh, social media out then uh got you got a, a question from steve uh stephen mansell uh who handles your social media side of business the workshop videos from d3 and instagram are looking sharp which they are which nice. they are, they are they <clears throat> yeah are. The, the, i was talking about it last night in a proper professional so yeah, yeah. Uh, we have uh, we have we outsource our um social media at the minute uh a company called who too? <laughs> Respective studios. I'm joking. Yeah, they're, they're, really, really they're really good. I'd love to shout yeah. out because they're such. Yeah, shout. Yeah, crack on. There you go. Yeah, can do. Business as well. 
Um, and they're only a few doors down from us, so it's really so handy. It's very convenient, yeah. Yeah, so um, we... we uh, and it's quite good, because we just uh, they just took on a fella that has been on uh, previous projects, so uh, that work, that's to do with the car industry, so he um, is almost like they tailored it for us, so, uh, you know. Um, yeah, nice. And he sort of knows how it works already, so um, we ain't got to play from the beginning again. Mm. Yeah. We've got a lot more to come on the social media side, but it all, takes, it all takes time and a lot of effort. And where our time is spent elsewhere and where we are on the, on the shop floor and doing a lot of the operational side of it mm. and the growing side of it, it's hard to give time to every area that you would like to give. But so that is soon to come. Yeah, that is soon to come. Yeah, one hundred percent it is. You know, <laughs> like you say, it's prioritise it or outsource it or you know, the big decisions to be made because yeah. you can't you can't do it all to a high level. It's Lord knows stress, we know. stressful doing it all yourself. <laughs> Tell I mean, you that that's another thing. Once you feel, if you believe that you could do it all, um, you just leave. Very, you, know, you don't have much time for anything else. And this is where we talk about balance again, where, you know, like if it starts to encroach into your, um, you know, into your home time, you know, yeah. when you're at home and you've got your kids running around with you. Yeah, you need your family time, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, because then you, that's how you sort of lose part of the passion. Yeah, because it's it's then taken over you. We well, you start resenting it at the end of the day, you know. Yeah. yeah, and not only that, you're never able to do it with the full heart and potential yeah. that you want it to be. Yeah. Um, you know, if you're trying to do ten things and you you're just never going to get the quality that you need. Mm -hmm. um, that's yeah. what we're trying to focus on now: mm -hmm. is quality and and so, segregating things and having yeah, things yeah. a lot more organized and planned that way we can actually achieve the level of work that we want yeah yeah, yeah. And, you, and you can delegate to trust the people who are in that you know who know you could do a good job in that area yeah so yeah. and it, it then takes a bit off you to then relook at the bigger picture yeah which yeah. we've only just started to be able to do we we were doing everything before it was yeah. not um, so it's nice to now slowly be able to start, you know, outsourcing social media, you know, having, mm. you know, bookkeepers coming in and helping out in certain areas. Mm. And when you've got so much going on and so many different finances coming in and out and invoices to pay and this, that and the other, it can get very daunting. And, of course you know, it can, yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, you're, you're almost buying your time back, but within doing that, you probably become far more efficient and, it, yeah. and good at the areas that you, you're supposed to be good at. You know, yeah. I mean, yeah. for me, for me, I need a dent tech in here so I can just make tea because that's where I excel. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll make the tea. Argu <laughs> arguably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I am I'm a bit low on mine. <laughs> <laughs> so what um what area of PDR do you mainly do then? Do you do like wholesale, D fleet, retail, hail, or just all of the above? All of the above. Um nice. like when you're when you're that good in that area, <laughs> you've got to just do everything, it. can't you? That's it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it is he heavily D fleet. Um I think Sunhill don't do hail though, does he? I I told, to be honest, no, no, I haven't done for a little while. Well, I because um, obviously when the team goes out, um, I tend to stay in the UK, just making sure that everything's running here. Otherwise, if you lose, and then I'll manage the dent team. Yeah. yeah. So if we, yeah. if we lose both of us, then we yeah, don't know what's going we on. Don't know what's going on, and yeah, you know, so it's just like been there, done that, completed it on insane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy to go. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've all got the insane badge apart from me. I, I, hail's not for me, really. It's too you many things. Right. You do too, right, mate. Too many you do right. me. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it if it's in the UK. Um, I won't venture out anymore, just purely because it's it takes a lot away from my family. Plus, it, it's a hard old slog, really. Um, I mean, it, it, it does pay well. I think the pay is, uh, is not as great as it used to be. And now it's become more difficult and traveling, it's, it's just not for me anymore. The business side of Hale is a whole different kettle of fish for sure. It's not just, you know, I know there's that glamorized thing of, eh, let's go do Hale, loads of money, but only if you get it right. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of way through. And if you get yes. paid. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah, that's the other thing, yeah. 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 A lot of trust. There's, a, there's a lot of trust there, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, our main, uh, yeah, our, our main part is dealish uh, is D fleet. D fleet. Um, D 
dealerships are starting to come through. Um, refurb yeah. centers as well. Yeah, now, refurb recently we've yeah. had a lot of refurb centers. Right. Okay. Yeah. They're making yeah. a smart repair, um, yeah. but but we're like, on a mass scale. Um, so just, just to give you a bit of an idea, like these online retailers. Well, I'm not. I'll stop there. But um, but yeah. <laughs> 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 Moving on swiftly. I'm oh, just taking notes down. Keep, keep, keep going, son. What was it? What was okay. that? Yeah, we're on record, mate. We're on record. <laughs> <Don't you worry. laughs> uh, she was stick a blare on there, just so yeah. <laughs> just, just put a mute on for a second. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, er, go on. Are you guys sort of actively um, working towards landing the defleet stuff and all that, or are you just finding with what you're doing naturally now things are starting to come to you? I'd say, yeah. Um, I think a lot of things are coming to us. A lot of things are coming to us, yeah. It, I mean, it does help, um, obviously, knowing a lot of uh, GMs uh, in, our, in, in our area. You know, the, the, obviously this... I've worked as uh, as a young man in their body shops, and they've seen what I can do. So you know, na naturally, I do get a phone call. It's like, oh, I could do your services here. Um, you know, it, it's brilliant because I've worked alongside a lot of young <clears throat> uh, body shop managers, and it's good because the young ones often tell you, you know, like they were like, oh, it, what I expect um, to get from my dent man, and then then I know I can deliver that and more. Um, so that's what I can still get that wow effect, even off a, a body shop manager who's, uh, who's seen a fair bit. But yeah, it's um, it, it's nice. Like I said, it's a it like, is a personal relationship with every single one it, to the body shop manager to the customer who walks through the door, mm. um, and it, it, it does count. You know, um, uh, I don't know why I have that likability. <laughs> well, Look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's probably why you say we landed the job because I look like Ryland. <laughs> I don't know whether that's a compliment or not. Sorry, Ryland, if you're watching, I know you're a big fan of the show. <laughs> uh, that's the funniest thing I've heard. Yeah. Well, yeah. that was I funnier than last night. That was. It's, it's funny. I used to get called it down. What was it a, a Corby site? Yeah, um, Corby. Yeah. Um, a lad called. Um, I actually don't know his real name. He, they, we call him Bubblehead or Fathead. Um, <laughs> and, uh, he was like, "Oi, Ryland, come and do this dent." Um, but yeah, it's 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 uh, actually he's never taken actually that name. A it will way. now, mate. It will now. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you say? I'll be there in a cinch. Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's um, it's been a, it's been an awesome journey. It's been awesome getting to know um, our fantastic body shop managers who actually work with us um, and understand that actually by giving the dent guy the job and the less people that touch that vehicle, the less problems they're going to have. Uh, you know, say for instance, like stripping something gets broken. Um, or, um, you know, prepping, dirt and the paint, um, you know, it, 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 the list can go on forever from each department that touches it. But the less people that touches it, the, the, the vehicle that is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no one was even thinking it. Move on. Like an hour and get it out the door. You know, no, so it's, uh, it's perfect. It's perfect. Um, well, your body shop managers should be privileged to have you working for them. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> you right. There you go. What, would you, what would you say to any <laughs> technicians wanting to expand their business? You know, anyone who's just on their own having those thoughts about, yeah, I like what I'm hearing. Let's go for it. What sort of advice would you give to anyone wanting to do that other than stay out of Bedfordshire? <laughs> That's my, that's my notes. Say, hey, do well, right? expand their business. What? So it's a dent technician looking to expand the dent. Yeah, just just your solo dent tech who's watching this, thinking, oh, oh shit. Oh. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I think. I think um, it all depends on how far they want to go. Like, if they want to get bigger, then you need to employ. Um, you know, I think they need to make sure the quality is yeah, and high, that high quality. Yeah. Once once you're known, your work's known to not be so great, and you
and you start tarnishing your, your name, then it's going to be hard to rebuild on that. So I think it definitely comes down to skill. And I'm guessing if you're looking to expand, you're already a top quality scenario, right? <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah. I'm guessing if you're looking to expand, you're already, you know, a top quality dent tech. So you're looking to pass your own skills on, which is probably going to feed into them and then they're going to be able to pass mm. to whoever. How do you feel way. about training, um, taking on apprentices and stuff like that? Um, yeah, pretty good. Um, I've sort of got a couple of guys that are all sub to us at the moment. Um, we're sort of in that process now of various things are coming through, uh, which will alleviate me from pushing so much. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's from YouTube. Cheers, watch it. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's. Again, if you want to do something more, it's an inevitable step I think you're going to have to take because, as we were saying before, you, you can't do everything. You know, e even just doing dents and trying to manage everything is is too much, let alone if you want to expand, you know. So if you're going to do that, then, yeah, you're going to have to take steps to having people dig you out one way or another. Yeah, because you almost yeah. financially cap yourself as well, don't you? Because you can do. do so much. So if mm. you almost want to earn and, and, and do more and, and be able to reinvest in your company, then you're going to need more technicians to be able to bring the finances in to then invest mm. back into your business. And Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there's yeah. no profit yeah. well, for a very long time. You're just constantly reinvesting. Re I think that, that is the hardest part of your dent career is your, is your first couple of years. Because it, yeah. there's no taking hot, there's no taking time off, there's no holidays because you're your own man. You got to don't know about that, mate. Year twelve seems pretty bloody tricky. <laughs> Year twelve. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> but all you need, Tex, so keep going. It's worth it. Oh, that's it. Yeah. I mean, we've uh, one of we got a lad that we trained. Um, he's been with us for two years now. I find. He's slick at all, isn't he? He's yeah, quick. he is slick. Yeah, he's really, very good. Yeah, very good. because I, I was very like negative about you know training people. I didn't want to train people because I didn't. I've got twenty two years worth of experience. I just didn't want to give up to anyone who could just leave and become our competitor. Gave it up to me though. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but um, like I said, uh, I find like if I was to train someone, I've realised now. Um, They've got to be with me for the next, like, six, <laughs> uh, sorry, like, for the first year to 18 months. Like, it's, it's, it's quite full on. Um, and I've had um, uh, Jay here who's been training. Um, he, he, he's learned a hell of a lot in two years. Uh, I'll say he's got about 10 years worth of experience in that two-year gap. Um, and he's, he always, whatever dent I put in front of him now, have a hundred percent confidence that he could get it out. Yeah. And it's um it's the same with uh, uh one of my other lads, Will, and uh, absolutely, and it's because they got that passion and drive that that they allow yeah. me to sort of jump in. And I I always say I'll, I'll give you this is what I would do in this situation. You don't have to go with it. If you find an easier way, another way, come let me know because I want to find out. But <laughs> yeah. this is how I would do it. And then they yeah. would just find that it was able to adapt and change because when i started i was in my dad's company and we had about 10 dent techs there and i was like i'll take the best parts of each person of each tech yeah. Yeah. and and i'll just <laughs> store it like, be the best yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. um because yeah. you because you you've got when you're young as well you've got that in you you want to be the best you want to be mm. the fastest you know um and that sort of competition especially with me and my brother james we had that competition where you're like what if you can fix that roof that someone's jumped on i, I can i can do one and it's just yeah. that competitiveness that just inspired us to to get better yeah. and, and faster, and faster yeah. yeah obviously we're in the d fleet world a lot of it is to do with speed because you've you've got a volume, volume. Of vehicles there so it's you want money yeah yeah we've got to earn the money and yeah. yeah quickest access points you know quickest way to repair it. i think that that's that's it is it's process is like right i'm I've, this is my panel what is the quickest way for me to get to it yeah. uh what is the fastest process for me to use can i can i glue it out and would that be quicker than me just putting a bar in? you know it's just like that eliminating like uh what what is the f spotting what is the fastest process yeah, yeah. i'd proper identify with that because that was me on hail was just this 
intolerable need to make every process more efficient. Like, yeah. what's the least amount of tools I can use to fix this That's, roof? Yeah, you know, exactly. yeah, yeah. Why, why have I just picked four tools up to get under that brace in? I need one. And I need to do it quicker. And I need to, and you just yeah. get to that point where you almost drive yourself insane trying to figure out, you know, the quickest way of doing things. But it's just that, in, like you say, it's that inbuilt drive to. That just, is so, that is so yeah. true. Like I know I've gone wrong when I've got like ten bars sitting in the front seat. <laughs> it doesn't happen just, a lot, does it? But sometimes like it's the first bar, and I'm thinking, what what happened there? I mean, I was, with this bar. <laughs> I was chuckling um, to myself today. I'm sat there with 1300 quids worth of TDN cart there, and every tool's like on the floor next to it. And yeah. I'm like, <laughs> what, what am I doing way? wrong? Yeah, that's it. You just look <laughs> at what, what tools you've got on your life. Oh, yeah, that's definitely how, how can I get this little dent out? What's going on? I definitely <laughs> find that. I, um, throughout the years, I find myself chopping and changing. And I think, you know, you've got them technicians that just always, oh, I know a guy who come up with Tesco's carrier bag and still had uh, some old bendy bars that they've handmade. Um, Is Colin Wood on with us tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Good old uncle Colin. Yeah. Colin's um, on, yeah. yeah. He's, uh, he's, um, he is on. He is. Well, hey, grass looks greener on the hail side of the fence until you walk that walk. That was going back to us talking about the, the hail So Sorry, I'm, I'm replying to other people while you're talking. Oh, yeah. I'm, being, I'm being ignorant <laughs> Yeah, this this is where you got to watch Martin because you ask him a question when you know he's not listening, and yeah. it's just like deer in the headlight yeah. like, territory. <laughs> yeah, I'll have two chicken burgers and a, and a packet of crisps, please. Yeah. <laughs> it, that's another thing. It's, it's great to have them um, them fantastic, good old technicians <laughs> that will, um, you know, uh, put put their arm over you and just guide you into the right direction. Like, I, if I ever had um, like a technical problem. Um, like I asked uh, Colin, how, how do I put this hot box and integrate it into my new um, uh, toolkit? And he was like, I took sent him some pictures and that lot, and it was fantastic. He oh, helped me out, and, and I, I use it every day. It's, it's brilliant. Yeah. Um, but it's nice in our industry that you've got them support network. That support network that yeah. you know that the uh, the older technicians who are who are willing to guide you in the right direction, so they're steering you in the wrong. Yeah, but, um, yeah. There's some lovely guys out there who are always helpful and willing to help. Yeah. Just going back to it, the, the you know the text that you're uh, you've trained recently, they're probably getting the passion from you guys, you know. So that's why they're probably on the ball and, and wanting to get everything out spot on. Yeah, definitely. I think it's like like Martin says, they're seeing it, they're getting it from you guys. You can you can sense your drive off, and it? your love for it, and it's it's not all that. Oh, let's get into this about the money you know get into it get addicted to the results see the value yeah. you can offer everybody yeah. striving to be better yeah, exactly. the, money yeah. the money will the money will come when you figure out how to do all those other things yeah i think if you're starting off and you're thinking about the money then forget it. yeah forget about it because uh we're, we're looking to grow you know a brand and we're looking to grow a business and and we're, we're looking to, to see how great and and big and and developed we can take it it's it's nothing to do with the money do you know what i mean cheers there, Colin. there isn't much money because you're constantly pumping it back into the business um so if, if you want to expand you need to spend money on machineries you need to spend money on um <clears throat> and areas to do it and um, people think it's uh you know you live in the dream but you you're not yeah because you're not we don't believe we actually, a word of it, folks. They ain't five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not stupid, mate. <laughs> yeah. uh, we, we can't answer this, haven't we? So yeah. we've not we've not had a pay rise in three years. <laughs> it's mad. <laughs> Who's Rylan? Come on, YouTube. Who's Rylan? Is he off the telly? Is he Rylan? Right, yeah, right. 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 He's with a bright teeth. Never heard of him. Yeah, yeah, that's Ben's job. I can't. <laughs> Honestly, if I had the energy for it, I'd do it right now. <laughs> so I got I got a question for you two then. So say you know, I am a single uh dent man in, in you know just doing dents at my business. I'm thinking and I'm found it quite hard to think about um expanding where uh 
I could get wheel, you know, I could, I can, you know, I can sort wheels out. I can do uh, paint work out, but I need to find a bigger unit to do that, and I need to find the technicians to do that. Uh, um, and like what Ben's, uh, sorry, Brian says, you know, finding the right staff is key. Uh, you can have the best techs in the world, but you can't uh, work as part of the team. No good. So you got found. You got found the te- uh, the, the people, the technicians to do the work for you. So oh, yeah, um, sure, yeah. how, that, how that's do you a know, massive step in it? How do you know when you found the right guy for the yeah. job? So we're doing so wheels. Could, we need a wheel tech. Throw the adverts out. What is it that you're looking for that's going to find you the right guy yeah. or girl for so, the job? Yeah. So you could yeah. invest in it. You know, how would you go about it? And I'm just going to decide oh. drink uh, oh, yeah. that. So company culture, we've got we, we know our company culture, we know what all of our guys are like and the sort of humor and, and banter that we've all got. Um, we know it's not that we go for one certain type of individual, but um, you, you, you sort of know straight away they tend to fit straight in yeah, as a, as a part the, of the team, if, yeah. and they've got the right core values and the right yeah. sort of work ethic. And you, it's very hard to it's like these interviews, I, I, I don't really believe in them. The interview should be about a month long. Because like how you can't really judge someone. In, We're about an hour in, so you're all right. We're getting there. <laughs> do, 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 do you know what I mean? It's very, it's very difficult. Yeah. It's, it's you only sort of know if you've got the right person over a certain period of time. It's, it's so difficult, but you sort of make your decision. I believe on the the the, the sort of work ethic and the the, the yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, and their passion and their yeah, pers- yeah. passion. I think it's it's gotten easy for us to start picking people out into them and bringing them into the team. Um, we obviously we come across people who um, we want, and I think it's that, that's it, is it's the feeling of um, making them feel like they're part of the family. Um, yeah. Wanting them that's to be, thing, yeah. you know, wanting them to be better. And then they, they become better. Even, you know, if they, yeah. if they don't know nothing, it's easy. Like, uh, Jay it, it never picked up a bar before, and then two years later, he's knocking out big crease doors oh, and things like that. So it's, mm-hmm. I think, with the right guidance and motivation and passion, anyone is who is willing can 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 mm-hmm. be the best employee and 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 do the best for your company. Like yeah. well, our, our lad um, Mac, <laughs> our painter, um, he suffers a blessing. Do you mind? He, 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 he um he's very timid when he first started yeah and work working with both of us so i think we both managed to like bring Get him out of his shell kind of thing, yeah. thing yeah. Yeah. he's a different um, person a now. Different guy now and it's nice yeah. though, it's oh, nice good effort and show him what he was like at the start yeah. and show him yeah. what he is now like he wouldn't he didn't want to speak to customers and he, he didn't want to do yeah. deal with customer service base and stuff like and that now he loves <clears> it <throat> now it's beast there. mode yeah yeah, yeah. Know, well, the more you do these things, I think it's like you know, even the social media stuff, getting in front of the camera and doing things, you just have to kind of pop the lid, get going, and before you know it, it's just second nature stuff. So, but if you've got the right, you in it. I think go the right way. I had to check them. <laughs> 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 uh, it's, it's, yeah. People don't like change, do they? They 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 seem to no. seem to stay in there. Yeah, in their that's, happy zone. Uh, but, that's a massive thing, isn't it? Change. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. You know, well, it's again going back to what I said. You know, it's change. I'm happy with with where where I am. You know, just doing the dents, but. I'd always love to expand, but I'm just uh, I just I just look at it and I'm like. How the hell am I going to get a wheel machine? How the hell am I going to get someone to do it? I need a unit. How's that going to happen? You just that's, like, that's, and you think about it, and you never do it. That's that's the yeah, thing. Yeah. Well, it depends if you've got the money. Go out and buy one. If you haven't, go and get financed. If yeah. you, that, then they train you. They train you, and then all of a sudden you're training someone else, and then it's just a natural right. progression from there. Because if it, we, like. Just do it. We knew, yeah, you know, just give it a go. Like, don't we? We weren't scared to fail. Um, we knew that fail happens every day. You know, in in, in it either be in business or personal. You just you just got to be able to pick yourself up and maneuver, yeah. um, and, and judge that situation and make sure you learn from it and don't repeat it. Problem solved. 
Yeah, exactly. Exactly that. I think the key thing is as well is not just thinking about it and saying you want to do it. Sit down with some dedicated time, write it down, put Strap dates it on it. Buy yeah. buy this time next month. I want to have this in place by yeah. the next month Goals. or whatever. Week to week, month to month. Write it down, make dates, yeah, and do stuff think, about it. I think obviously, where the whole podcast is about expansion, I think. Um, the whole comfort zone and being comfortable. If you want to expand, you, you're never going to be comfortable. Do you know what I mean? You mm. need to branch out of your comfort zone consistently. And when you've got the structure like that, there, that's what sort of gives you the little bit of the comfortability of, right, I have got a plan and I believe my plan. And if I stick to it, then we you know, should be able to get there. Yeah, and then yeah. you just, kind of just manage the risk. So as long as it's not, you know, too risky, you should yeah. be okay. And then that's yeah. like to uh, very, uh, you know, small growth is, is, is the best everlasting growth. Yeah. yeah, that's what you said earlier, you know, small take growth, yeah, in small take. steps. I yeah, think that's... it's important as well because I think a lot yeah, of folk will go in this fast moving world, especially, is if I can't do it instantly, if I can't have this set up quickly, then it ain't going to happen. But like you're saying, a lot of it is even small steps forward is still moving forward. And it, gi- yeah. it gives you time to make sure that process is working and tweak it along the way rather than going, bam, here's that new yeah. thing or, or whatever and finding it just Everything. unraveling on yeah. you. Yeah. 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 Put one ground cheers, but, win all then. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like that, that small step, then that one step that you take in like your first month, but then two years down the line, it's like, it's just a massive wide arc. Because it's just in, in that period, there's so much growth and, um, uh, and so much that you've learned in that. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> That's my baby girl. Bless her. Hello, Eva. <laughs> oh, bless. What are you Hello. doing up? It's past your bedtime. <laughs> 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 so, my little girl just called me just before we came on. That's what I was running off for. I'm like, <laughs> Lesson, and that's what it's all about. All they of this coming. is about them. Yeah, that's what definitely. it's all about. Yeah. yeah, definitely. They love, they love coming here. They love seeing what we do. They love meeting the, um, um you know, the lads that work here. Um, they they know them all by their nicknames. You know. Yeah, yeah. nice. <laughs> there you go. Another one from Brian. Baby steps. Aki, a lot. Go on. A lot run Go before on. they walk, and that is when problems start to happen. Very yeah, true. very, very true. 100%. It takes time, yeah. especially, especially if you're financing it yourself. If you've got people who are just throwing money into you, that's a different type of strategy, you know, different type of structure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're limited with the finances, then you, yeah, you do need to have a lot more structure. Yeah. Time. But knowing yeah. from the start, yeah. from just PDR. And in three years' time, that we've now added that many services, um, plus still offering that top quality service, it, it, yeah. it just goes to show that you, if you have that passion and drive, and you and and the support, as well as creating that balance with each other, then you're going to get there. That's it. You just keep going. Yeah, yeah. I think if it's your own money that you're going to invest as well, you do do small steps. You don't do big steps. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna borrow money on your business, then you you know it could go up and then come back down pretty quick. Yeah. Um. You, you don't have that um same kind of uh, responsibility with it. I I I'd say to be fair. Hundred yeah. percent. There we go. Mm. Well, say, go back to the training. What would you say is the best <laughs> way to train someone? Who's that? Your mum. <laughs> because you know they offer you've got these courses now they offer where they separate them you've got you know your door edge is is is, is uh, so many days and you've got your normal dents and like i know there's your imi is your standard but like would you offer a preferred way to train a trainee like in your own in your own version, like you know how uh, I and I are certified, but would you do your own certified to your own standard? What, like in in house, you mean? Yeah, like how I think I am I is I am I is a set um, certification isn't it? for for technicians that can 
uh, you know, do the job. So, you know, to do that, you get your certificate and, and you're certified to take dents out of flat panels, body lines, difficult dents. So, you know, you can do the job and you get certified from that. But um, I just want to I mean, know. There's, there's lots there's lots of training, isn't there? You know, there's lots yeah. of people are offering. I don't, I don't think it ever ends, though, does it? You know, the, the, no, you're always learning. Every the time. Education yeah. doesn't end. The training doesn't end ever. Yeah. If you can teach someone to to do a dent, then you know, and do it well, then then you're offering good good you teaching, teach aren't you? Like like yourself, you know. Teach with lines or fog. Give oh, over. Uh, that's the, the that's a quick script. fire questions. Come on. Right. Maybe, well, maybe, maybe we should go into the quick fire line. questions. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Smack down that strike too. One more and you're off. Hang on a second. <laughs> right. I tell you what, if you want to get into fogs and lines, right? One more question: How do you see the industry in the next five years, chap? Electric, electric yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> PDR industry, D three services. <laughs> yeah, ele electrics going. Is, is yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do yeah. see it being very electric. Um, that, I mean. Yeah. Like, uh, well, I probably will give it away, but that that would probably that would be our our next dream, our next step. We've got we've got some infrastructure there for the next five years, which we're looking to plan on, um, which is very grey area at the minute. But we're definitely looking to start going a lot more electric, and we've got plans in place, but they are they are soon to come. Perfect. Have you ever thought about getting a, an ADAS? set up uh, a lot of mot places uh offer the adas so they do the the wheel alignment and then uh adas as well yeah yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. uh and well, while you're at it windscreen replacement just get the building across the road and just offer it oh, you know? the next day. are we doing that service <laughs> <laughs> It would be defects in service as well. Yeah. <laughs> Every service, something's done. <laughs> yeah. um, Nothing wrong with that. We, we, we have that. the ADAS services, uh, only purely because obviously the, the technology side in the automotive industry is obviously getting a lot more. Um, but I, I don't know if it will stay ADAS because I think Tesla aren't actually gone down the ADAS route. I believe they've used a own. different form of technology. Um, so we're not really too sure. Um, but down to space currently, I think the answer is no. Um, but as we grow and have more space, then potentially, potentially, yeah, you never know. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So, do you think it's well? Obviously, we are going to see a lot more uh, electric vehicles. He, he was. Oh, yeah, yeah. That. We just yeah. got to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just... What's that? Have yeah. 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 Oh, you go cat buddies, are you? Yeah. Just the scooters to go down Tesco's at lunch, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. 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 Those yeah. scooters, the orange ones that you had to put your phone on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tesla. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, they, I could see it. Well, they're knocking out. We were speaking to the, um, the uh, fella today from uh out of delivery wasn't he and he, they were knocking out about 800 in a in a day um which is insane so um i think that was just the uk as well that was just uk yeah oh. um so they're, they're just they're flying off the shelf um, i've still got my um i've got uh some money on a, a tesla cyber truck for when they come out oh yeah apparently <laughs> good luck with that they're good aren't they they're undentable they're 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 size. they look pretty trendy I'd, I'd actually yeah, they, do, yeah. they do look quite nice mm. I don't think I'd fit it in a drive like but it'll, it'll look nice on the moon yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right let's do it let's head into that quick fire round do yeah. it dense of all we are oh, shit <laughs> <laughs> no no abort mission we're not going there <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some quick fire questions. Martin, do you want to start off? Best tool you have. Too slow. Newest tool you bought. Oh, <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, mine was. Oh, he, he likes his lack of tools. His lack of glue. Oh, yeah, nice one. Yeah, very well, nice. That's, that's a brilliant one. Yeah, with that, it's we like can't a chicken can't nugget from here. We can't give that away, but the glue is, <laughs> works fantastic in all weathers. Two, one bigger one. What glue do you use with that then? 
Oh, did you just say oh, cats are well, well, you know the colour. Come oh, on. What colour is it? Green. Oh, well, we dyed it red so you can <laughs> work out what it was. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> uh, Good well, hard work. I'm, like you, I'm a sucker for hammers. Um, I have got and, and and tips. I have got no, I'm gonna do that, but um, <laughs> I've been using this tip lately. Um, because I've been doing a lot more larger damage because I've been in a, a lot of auction houses lately. Um, but that served me well, actually. I've been taking a, a lot bigger area at a faster pace what yeah. tips that is that something off the bottom of your sofa i think i think it come off off the bottom of me granny's um walking stick <laughs> we're so professional <laughs> thanks for tuning into those dead guys everybody wow. where you will come away far more knowledgeable oh, of course yeah what what tips that then big big flat round one that's exactly what it is. No, I don't actually know. <laughs> That's what we call it. Can you get me the big flat one, please? <laughs> yeah. oh, to be honest, on one of them ones, I don't tend to buy a lot of new stuff because my I've had that whole period where I've just perfected bought everything. The um, and for for the in the area that I'm working, that all of the tools I need is is, is on it. So uh, it's, 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 it's actually, in fact, I can actually. Swing it round here. Oh, oh, best tool, best tool. So my new addition is this. Oh, no affiliation, no affiliation to us, then, guys. <laughs> Pop rock sound system. Best thing I bought when I'm rocking it in the uh, auction houses. Um, oh. Said no one ever. And the best, yeah, the best thing <laughs> ever. Do, you can take all your stuff on it. Brilliant bit of kit. That's um, good, that. I like that. I've got like a uh, Colin. Colin sorted me out. I was going to say, have you got the adapter on the front of one of the drawers or something? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah, this, um, that's just down here, actually. Uh, you can see if I move you around. Yeah, so that that's it sticking in. Colin sorted me out with that. Yep, cracking. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, cracking. Um, yeah, he gave me some great advice to help me out because I'm not that. I'm not an engineer like he is, but he's no one's an engineer oh, like Colin. Don't oh, get Colin started. Oh, oh God. <laughs> You'd be getting the triangles out in his pencil. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, they all serve a purpose and they all do a good job. But there's uh, obviously, um, yeah, hammers. Hammers is probably my go to. Yeah, hammers are my go to. I've got the, uh, the drugs tools. Yeah, we, we fight over this one. I lost. I lost the other one in Brunton for, uh, I think I left it on the windscreen. It's not, that's uh You get the smaller one, don't but, you? But it's not the car actually fixed. I think that someone, um, I think I was distracted by a beautiful uh, Land Rover. <laughs> yes. I was like, oh, wow, that's a stunning car. Look at that deer. And then as I was took a sip from my brew, I put it down on the glass and it just disappeared. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 He's very upset about that. Oh, that's nice. sad. Yeah, that's sad. That's that's boy, boy. Uh, that's, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's another thing. That, that's another thing that puts me off. It's uh, it's uh, expensive, and then when you're doing expansion, Oof. you ain't. He doesn't, he doesn't let me spend any money on new shiny toys. Oh uh, well, he was in finances, you know. That's Someone got to hold them first strings. Someone got to hold them first strings. <laughs> Not the quickest fire of, uh, round of quick fire questions. No, it's, 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 all right. It's like, Are you ready for the next one? Are you ready for the next one? Best area to fix a dent on a vehicle? No braces. I know a few uh, people uh, like that. And no bras either. Well, I, I haven't got a problem anywhere. I, I, I like it. I like it all. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I'm keep it. Oh, rear quarters. Rear quarters, no. Yeah. Nah, no, no rear quarters. Sonil, okay. you? Um, I quite like rails, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah, blend yeah, rails. I'm a rail guy. Cool. I like rails. Yeah, we like rails, don't we? Give me I'm better than you. Yeah, I didn't say... <laughs> no one's talking about who's better than who. Oh, sorry. I, I just... <laughs> you go We're there. both as good as each other, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. I'll say it. I'm not scared to say it. I'm better than him. <laughs> <laughs> He is. <laughs> he is. He's, he, he taught me, so it's got to be. 
Uh, well, I think my... Uh, well, you should strive to be better than Danny, because he taught you. Yeah. Yeah. He's just dropped a bomb there. Come on, let's go. <laughs> he, he is better than me. He is better than me. Obvious so question. He does Star Wars question. stuff. Lines or fog? No, you missed one. Lines, lines yeah, nice one. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, lines. <laughs> <laughs> I started on lines. Started on lines, though. And then the hail hit, and then we and then got lights. To be taken serious, I had to go and get a lamp. Graham's got sense. Look, you know, Graham, Dent Master Johnson, lines. Colin mm -hmm. says lines as well, but he didn't reply. He didn't put a comment on there. The lights, the lights are brilliant. Yeah, the, the lights have come along, you know, in the last what ten years. I mean, yeah, brilliant. They help yeah. you see so much. Massively. I've got um, I've got a fog fog board. Oof. It's a pro. Is it pro PDR solutions? You've probably seen from the pictures. It's pretty good. That yeah, she has mm -hmm. loads of like little bobbly bits on the on the paint surface. Oh yeah, I don't yeah. Know what they're all about like, but <laughs> you stick, stick lines on. You can still is, see. Is what this, you, is what this you actually about. admitting that you can see more with fog? I can use. You fog, heard it all here. Right? Well, no, I keep nice. telling you, I can use fog and lines, but I just think fog's boring. I mean, lines. When you're using lines, you go whoa, whoa, whoa like that. But when you're using fog, you're like, I was done ten minutes ago. Oh, I don't know. No, I think it's just uh, it's less confusing now for me. Um, like if I I'm jump joking. lines, it's um, it's just everywhere. It's just hard to. Well, no, I think if, if I if if you're doing it, dense properly, isn't it? If they're everywhere, put it in close because they say you know lines <laughs> don't lie, but. You pull it in closer and I can, I can use it. But yeah, it would take me a bit of adjustment. Yeah. Yeah. They like, do lie uh, sometimes. There you go. Kevin will like that. They do lie, they do lie sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, slapper or, or hammer? Hammer. <laughs> hammer. <laughs> yeah, hammer. Oh, you're boring. Next hmm. one. Best takeaway meal. <laughs> Indian. Indian. Good answer. Best right. movie of all Good time. Answer. Uh, Man on Fire. Ooh. Man on Fire. Oh. Who's Man on Fire? Is that uh, Denzel Washington? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it, mate. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Got I've okay. got a load. I'm movie buff. I, I like that. Uh, yeah. Scarf. Moana. Yeah, yeah, I love that. that. Not, not I, Moana, don't you? Yeah, I do. My kids have been. Um, what is what is the latest one that's come out in Disney? Encanto. Uh, is it? <laughs> Oh no, what are you going on about? What's no, this? what do you think? Stuff? I actually tried in the cinema to sing. Um, my little daughter was like, Are you okay, Daddy? I'm like, Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> was he crying? <laughs> well, like, I'm an emotional mess sometimes, buddy. Uh, but it's, uh, I'm not scared to show it. No, don't worry. No, I, I cry sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Always got my shoulder. So I, le I learned that in the army days. Isn't it? it's, it's, you're a real man if you can display emotion, true emotions. Good lads, good lads. Well, that's the end of the quickfire round. And indeed, <laughs> all the questions we've got for you. Happy days. Oh, oh, here's, here's Uncle Colin. Look, true story, both Lens and Fog can give it <laughs> different information. And using both will show you more than either one. My humble opinion. That sounds like a man who <laughs> can't get off the fence. I was going to say, how, how come a, a, a clever chap like him uh, misspell opinion? Oh, come on, Colin. Come on. He's been in the bath too what, long, hasn't he? What we're talking about, that Colin. Monocle. That's what you need to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While we're talking about that, should we have a quick follow up? Everybody jump in the comments section who has purchased said monocle and been using it. What's everyone's opinions on it from last week's, yes. not last week's, last episode, which was two weeks ago now? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, everyone jump in the comments who has bought the monocle. What are you thinking? How are you finding it? Mr. Sadler. Yes, I can see a lot more now. And it's really good with lines and fog. <laughs> I know William Nicole jumped on Facebook did. Um, today and was saying, uh, just trying to bring it up now, can't find it, but basically saying exactly that. Well, he, Using he, just, he just whacked it on a uh, nail on the head, didn't he, really? Using less pushes, cleaner repairs, faster repairs, less sanding. So, yeah, That's happy it. days. Seems to be the general consensus. Um, let's have a dump, jump into the comments. Do, 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 do. No one's answering yet, but I'm sure they will. Oh, well, where's before? You know, like if if I was doing like a, I mean, previously I did a, a, a real tiny 10 mil dent um, in the center of a roof, and it's quite hard to see. And putting that on there, you can see everything. 
Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, bloody hell. Well, I think and you can chum lines and everything. Kev, Kev does a good example, you know, yeah. when, when showing it, what it can do. Mm -hmm. um, and it does, you know, just just off the video, you can see you've got that arc from, from left to right. You can see it does bend the light. Um, and I, I, hate, yeah. I hate doing rear quarters. And when you're, when you're in an awkward position, it's so true. Um, and, the dev, you know, he's come up with definitely, uh, you know, a winner for sure. It's something that we would definitely use, yeah. Yeah, 100%. It is an awesome tool. But yeah, so we'll you, keep jumping up. I haven't actually got to but, use it yet, so I'm looking forward to giving it a go. I was going to say, have your techs got them as well? Are they have you using them? Oh no, no, they're not. They're not. They're they're good, but they don't deserve presents yet. Turn to the other one. Come on. <laughs> oh, nice. We've got a couple of shiny people that love buying tools. Um, shiny, uh, shiny yeah, is new, yeah. isn't it? That's yeah. Ami Terms is new for shiny. Yeah. <laughs> or is it Gucci? You got some That's Gucci it. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the brands. <laughs> <laughs> but he's he's gone. He was one of the first ones that I know. He's got out, went out and bought that Mil Milwaukee um, stand-up kit, um, and yeah, he's made a couple of good um, adaptions on adaptions, it, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's really nice. Yeah, he should have got a picture of it. Wow. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. So some brilliant stuff out there now. So some much more usable carts. Um, I'll break my back going from one hail job to another um mm -hmm. and all that kit up would would absolutely destroy me but yeah mm -hmm. this one i can break down into its little tiny boxes of either from using a van a truck or car mm -hmm. that that can all go in it broken down yeah um, easy mm -hmm. to make up i've got a tdn car but um my van's big enough for it anyway so seems Good. Yeah. what van you got i've got a transit at the moment Oh, very nice. Uh, because got, of uh, mainly because of the wheels. Um, we go off to sites and pick up load and bring them back here. To yeah. yeah. Uh, what well, is it? A, a van or is it a crew cab or? It's a. No, um, it's a big van. Yeah. Well, big, he, uh, he, he, he puts all of the the twenty wheels in his um in his Tesla. He manages to fit it all in there. <laughs> yeah. It's all strapped to the roof. <laughs> I did a I did a I did a job for a customer the other day on a, a Tesla free and there was a, a pharmacist and uh he tried putting a fridge in his boot to obviously take medication and he tried putting it through the door and and it hit the uh, dog leg and whacked it in. God, it took a while to get that dent out. Oh we, we it, just it, it was steel, but it it just the, the steel wasn't I don't know, it was very flimsy. <laughs> yeah, we had a, a Tesla come in the other day. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, what was it? Model Y, I think it was. Um, yeah, it was it was solid. It was solid. It hit the um, edge. There was a door edge on it, but it hit so hard it just bulged right up. Um, mm. and it, yeah, it looked like heat. It, yeah, it was on a what was it near side rear door. It looked yeah. like it would pop out, and it's on the second sway yeah. line runs through. So it's all. Things don't pop out, Danny. Jesus. Sometimes they do. All the shop managers. I don't know if you got the right moves. <laughs> <laughs> nearly, nearly on strike three, mate. Nearly on strike three. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we, we found the aluminium is is like a different. It's yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a different yeah, type of aluminium. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and also, no, it's in like um, it's good for safety point of view, but when it comes to getting the tents out, it's harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Plus plus aluminium on MTRX and what was that plus forty percent? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. true yes. story. True there you story. go. We've got we've got a uh, uh, watch. It's joining in on best movie, The Rock, Nicholas Cage. Shot. Yeah, it's good on that. Yeah, but I watched yeah. it the other day. It's a bit yeah. corny, <laughs> but it's good. Nicholas, Nicholas Cage. Is funny. Funny. I like corny. Face. <laughs> I like I like I like face off. Yeah, good yeah. to take the. Face off. You're leaving to it, Ben. <laughs> can, can we just talk dense? <laughs> I don't know anything outside of dense. Uh, dense. No, no, no. Hey, come on, Benjamin. You let me loose and I've done a script and everything and now you're having a go at me. I'm not having a go. Okay. <laughs> I just don't watch uh, Nicholas Cage films, that's all. 
It's all, no, it's all, no, it's all about the Disney. A bit weird now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We are approaching an hour and a half mark, though, guys. That is some good chats. But yeah, fair or bit, to be fair. Um, I hope everyone else who's been watching tonight has picked up some useful information and tips from you guys. You clearly got business rocking and rolling down there. So I want to go work for them. I want to go work for them. Everything would be a bit too far down south for me. <laughs> well, mate. Well, we're looking to branch out down your area. <laughs> uh, what's Martin drinking? Not a lot tonight, actually. I've been a good person. I've only had half a bottle of wine and half a bottle of brandy. <laughs> but it's still just a half, mate. That's what counts. Well, just, just a half. half. <laughs> Happy days. If anybody's got any questions, though, for these lads, keep chucking them up in the comments, though, even after the fact, because we will get them and anything else that you might want to know we can jump on and answer them after the fact can't we we can just and before we go we need to get back on to brian's um day so um mm -hmm. i don't know where it was saturday 19th of march up at brian's place um yeah so he's offering some um an open day on his additional uh training um and leather repairs doing... screen chips he's another top man yeah 100 percent. definitely he's uh what's it access and uh the access points and everything else that they everyone's knocking up them videos out there brilliant yeah, yeah um, it's a great forum to be on he's got a group on the facebook yeah for uh, access points yeah yeah even on some of the old, older models because we because obviously working in the auction houses that that, that still comes in handy because we're still dealing with the older vehicles. Mm. Um, yeah. It's the yeah. it quickest way to get to the dent. Yeah. Yeah. It's the smartest, the smartest way. As well. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a great group to be involved in, actually. And just another example of everyone jumping on and helping the industry, really. So, yeah. yeah. Happy so, yeah, what, what uh, Brian's uh, offering for the day is, uh, you know, he's going to show people on how oh, to uh, do leather repairs, plastic trim repairs, screen chips and polishing. So mm -hmm. all, all worthy, all worthy uh, add-ons for your business, isn't it? Happy days. If anyone's interested in that, though, drop Brian a line for times and addresses Match and yes. all that kind of shenanigans. That, that is a skilled part of the smart repair. Like interior repair is very difficult. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You mark. You get someone who masters it. It's fan. You know, they're fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. We never, we never found anyone. We're still searching. Is yeah, that, Brian's that come down. Coming soon. <laughs> oh, so we're we're too far away from you guys. That's what it is. Yeah. Good job and all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You stay. You stay down there. <laughs> Listen, guys, it's been fantastic having you on the show tonight. I really appreciate you all coming on, though, and having a good crack and dropping some knowledge bombs. For Brilliant. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for having much, us guys. on. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Awesome. Yeah, really appreciate it. I love it. it. Yeah. Any yeah. last words? Do you have any shout outs? Do you want to talk to your body shop managers? To your fans? Uh, well, shout out to the D3 team for always doing their best and working hard. Yeah, to your techs, yeah. Yeah, yeah, to our body shop managers who are very supportive and get the job. Um, and just just to uh, the wife and kids that put up with this nonsense, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it must be hard because uh, obviously we're always away or busy and you don't get much time, family time, or as much as you would like to. You, you, you do find the balance, but sometimes it can... It crosses over once in a while, yeah. but they're, they're understandable because they, they definitely know how passionate yeah. you are about the job yeah. so but we love them yeah yeah definitely for they sure yeah up. and we love you trident and dent remover we love you Aww. we're not even had a drink just a coffee <laughs> <laughs> i ain't had a drink either <laughs> one or two bless you <laughs> no you are right though. i think you've got to go to the bottom of the wrong side of the balance to realize that you need to get the balance though and bring it back <laughs> for sure yeah or, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've got to definitely do that. Yeah, yeah. Happy yes. day. What's in cool. now? What's that? Sorry. Good show, guys. 
Oh, yeah, Colin's a good show, guys. Good to see you, Danny and Sunil. Love to see you on the 19th, Brian. Sounds good. Sounds good. good. Top man. Top yeah. man. Happy days. Yeah. Well, Colin folks. Benjamin. Well, do you know what? I forgot to ask or I wanted to ask you. Is there any guys that inspire, like in the trade? Like, do you look up to? Are you, will you willing to shout any name? Yeah, yeah, he is. He is. He's one of mine. <laughs> I love you, babe. I'm just a drunk on camera, mate. <laughs> <laughs> he's nothing like he is on his YouTube videos, is he? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, everyone, everyone gets oh, drunk, and then you do that. that. <laughs> we all do a good job. I, I yeah. look at everyone, like what you said there, uh, Danny. I look at everybody and see what they're doing, and I, I'd like to progress from that. Yeah, yeah I think it's, it's, yeah. it's important to both be inspired and to try and help inspire other people you know yeah of course it's, it's healthy guy. it's <laughs> healthy that's just what yes. you do you know if you want to be as as good as you can in in the industry and and at your job then you look at what other people are doing and, and you want to get better i mean yeah. you know look at the american guys as well you've got bryce and zan and you know yeah. all those guys they're just that's mental isn't it yeah, you yeah. Know, everyone's striving to be the best and if you can do that and you can put it into every, every job that you do, then you're doing a spot on job. You can yeah. charge whatever you want and, uh, and you're winning aren't you. Mm. But even, it. even, even over here, like on a personal level and sort of development level, you know, guys like Leon at Dragon's Dance, uh, my mate, Anthony Pritchard, who I run a lot of hail with in Europe, both of those mm. guys, <clears throat> you know, have helped jump in and sort of level up and to me that's that's kind of the inspiration side yeah. you know um you know like when on hail you get those days where your head's just gone this that and the other yeah. and somebody can stand there and go right here's what's going on here's what you need to do just yeah. refocus Think out the box. Yeah. yeah and sometimes it's stuff that you already know but that they can take that time to just rejig your headspace and and this yeah. that and the other to me that's yeah. quite inspirational you know that people take yeah. the time to just nudge you help you out or maybe point out where you're going wrong you know so yeah i'd love to do what you guys are doing as well you know it's it's that's just yeah if if i could get to your stage i would be very happy but you know it's uh i'll have to have a good think yeah, about that one we've just got to do a collaboration the club club that's that's that. one. oh we'd see like last night I haven't, got, I haven't had a cup of tea <laughs> have some brandy instead <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but no, it's um, I, I like like you just said there. I, I do. I look at everyone, uh, whoever posts uh, people that I've met doing the hail and, and just wowed me, and I just think, wow, you know, if, I want to be just as good as them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, and 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 if not, try be better. But you know, it's, I could be just as best as, as good as I can be, but paying attention to all. Everything that's going <laughs> on. <laughs> Have you seen the guys out in? Um, is it in India? The really big, uh, almost like the um, panel beating jobs that they they use. Oh, uh, Haroon is it? Uh, Haroon is in Iraq. Yeah, I think I'm sure he's in Iraq. The power of social media, it's crazy. I, but I was, yeah. I was taking a look, and I was just amazed at the damage. What you can do with, yeah, and what you can do with spoons and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah it's mad. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, very important. Yeah, super important to be inspired, though. Good question. <laughs> He's changed my name again, though. <laughs> there we go. A bit of family love. It's nice for <laughs> everyone's family jumping on and watching the show as well. That's awesome. That's it's been a great show. Thank you very it's much so, for joining us. It's, it's, very, it's very needed to have that um, support from the family, whilst, you know, especially if you're doing the hail and you're jumping from place to place it's a very lonely job but yep. when you've got that good community like you said <clears throat> when you have them guys when you you know you're on an off day and they you know uh art dan just uh clock off for today i'll finish your wing and then we'll meet you down at the pub mm. they, you know you, they're, they're the they're the <laughs> real yeah yeah yeah, well, <laughs> but yeah i was having a great day i was just putting it on <laughs> <laughs> you're around you're around Danny this is, fifth, this is the fifth day running Ben <laughs> but yeah no it's the, it's a good community to be in it's, yeah, yeah, um, it's, it's some really superb blokes out there yeah. um, and a lot of sound advice a lot of 
yeah, we got a lot of advice off a lot of like local people. Even just when we're setting up a smart repair, you know, this because it, it's it's so technical that, that the little bits you do wrong can have a really big impact, and you're having to start your job all over again straight from the start, and yeah. it's costing you money and time. Not so really easy, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a big, big learning curve. So, like, if you are looking to expand your business, just make sure you know the processes first because it can be very, very costly. Mm. Uh, yeah, definitely. A bit of planning, a bit of research goes a long way, I would say. And, and, and just watch more, just watch the bigger, the bigger giants, you know, that, and how they operate and their processes. Like watching, you know, um, speaking to Jordan and watching him, his company, you know, you know grow and change. I remember. <laughs> Years ago, like, no, Dan, I would never do a body shop. That's a headache. I'd, I'd never do it. And then here he is. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then he lost the rest of his hair. But yeah. he... <laughs> Don't worry, Jordan. I feel your pain, mate. Uh... <laughs> Don't listen to these boys, mate. All the best. All the best. <laughs> oh, I love that, man. Like said, there's a lot of good people in the industry and a lot of people who, are, if you ask, will give you that information. Yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah 100%. Yeah. We're all here to help, aren't we? Yes, yes. sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> cool. Right. Well, that's it. I better go to bed now, aren't we? Yeah. Well, thank you very much, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. I hope I haven't waffled on for too long and bored people to death. Of course but... you won't. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> so we've got the after party soon. You'll be all right. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no bedtime just yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Pegs have been on the show. It's the after show party. <laughs> oh, you're going to sing us off, then? No, mate, no. no you, <laughs> you are if you want. You can sing oh, us yeah, off mate. if you want. There you go. Oh, no, I don't know. Cheers, Martin. Go on, uh, Millsy. Hello, Martin. He's another top lad. He's helping Very much, Gray. Very yeah, much, Gray. Yeah. Cool. There you go. Right, socks. Yeah, Steve Wood. If anybody wants socks. to follow us, where right. can they do so? Oh. The can oh, you've beat me to it. Uh, buzz then, guys. Uh, hang on a second, I need to read it. Follow us on <laughs> Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Search buzz then, guys. That's right, and yes, he's right. You can stream us as well, can't you? <laughs> you can, Benjamin. You're gonna <laughs> so hey, seamless. You're good, aren't you? So streams seamless. on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Lipzin, iHeartRadio. Search buzz. Dent guys, right, and man. if you've got nothing better to do tomorrow evening, afternoon at 4 pm, you can tune into YouTube or watch me take a dent out for 766 pounds. <sighs> Those dent guys is not affiliated with Dent Remover Hall in no way, shape, or form, in every way. <laughs> <laughs> and if you'd like to email us, you can do so on those dent guys with a z at gmail.com. That is correct. So that is season three, episode two in the bag. Thanks so much, Sonny and Daniel. Of very uh, interesting Daniel podcast. And Danny. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no yeah, spot on that. Yeah. Spot. It's opened my eyes to a lot. So appreciate the time. No worries. And thanks for all you Dent squads and families and the like tuning in uh, for watching us tonight. We much really appreciate you all. As always, um, have a good couple of weeks until we see you again for episode three of season three, which is yet to be determined. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not, is it? We've got our next no, guest in the bag. Actually, oh, shit, I put it up. <laughs> <laughs> Season, uh, sorry, episode three is yeah, it's coming. It's coming. It's, it's coming, but storm. it is gonna it's be. It's gonna be a belter. So stay tuned. <laughs> Two weeks time for the next episode of those. Thank <clears> you. <throat> Until then, we'll see you all yeah, later. I've been Martin. He's been Ben. Sunil, Danny from D D Free Services Group. Thank you very much. Thank Peace you. Now, Thanks. 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 Thanks.